Do you think the game industry is in a better place now than it was early in your career as far as creativity and developer freedom and, and developer recognition? And you know, what do you think is the future of AAA gaming? Um, wow, I could get myself in so much trouble. I kind of don't care about the future of AAA gaming. Um, I think the, the costs are so high, the teams are so big, the risks are so great that um, we're seeing an awful lot of uh, same old, same old with prettier pictures. You know, I, I, I mean, that's a little reductionist, I know, but, but I don't see a lot that interests me in the AAA space. Um, I spent, uh, spend most of my time at GDC and E3 looking at the indie stuff. Uh, that's where you see the. Have you uh, seen Cuphead? Have I because seen Cuphead? I, I just being such of, a Disney of fan. Of course, <laughs> I've seen Cuphead. I can't wait for Cuphead. Yes, yes, I have. Um, Sorry, I totally cut you off, but I had to, <laughs> I had to throw perfect, that in. It just popped into my head. Perfectly all right. <laughs> but I, I think you're seeing immense creativity on the indie side, and in that sense, things are way better than they used to be. There didn't used to be an indie scene, you know, and now. There are so many ways to make a game. There are so many ways to reach an audience with that game uh, that uh, anybody can make the game of their dreams. I mean, I got the opportunity to make Deus Ex, which was my dream game, but that's because I'm the luckiest guy on the planet. Uh, nowadays, um, you know, one person in a, in a garage can be Notch. For more from my IGN Unfiltered interview with Warren Spector, be sure to check back every week for new segments and every month for brand new episodes with brand new guests.